Cheryl and I are standing with Jason and Shauna Caldwell. Now, Jason is the man that had the vision behind Hope 150, and it's so great to have you and Shauna here with us to take a few moments to share. But let me ask you, Jason, the word hope, how important has the word hoping to your family, as well as what is the scriptural foundation for Hope 150? Well, the scripture is Psalm 105, 1. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the people. And we felt that was just the perfect scripture for such a celebration as this, celebrating 150 years in Canada and celebrating the hope that we have because of Jesus Christ. Our family, of course, uh, experienced uh, an incredible tragedy in February of 2016 when our two sons died on the Olympic bobsled track here in Calgary. One of the things that happened uh, in the aftermath of that was uh, we really felt like an entire curtain was pulled back on the uh, lives of people. People were very vulnerable with us and, and as we spoke with people and families, people would come up to us and they would immediately start telling us about the pain in their own lives. And I felt like uh, we just became very sensitized to the fact that our community, our neighbors, our, our, our city, our province, our country, the reality is that so many people need hope and uh, I really believe that here in Canada um, at this time uh, although across the country there's going to be lots of music and lights and hype uh, the fact is is that uh, it doesn't fill the void it doesn't fill the emptiness in our hearts it doesn't heal our pain and so uh, we began to talk to people in the Christian community here and we said look why don't we get together and put together a, a, a celebration, a Christian celebration, where we can celebrate Canada, but we can also celebrate the fact that there is hope for tomorrow. There is hope for this country. Um, we don't have to resign ourselves to the fact that uh, uh, all of the bad news in our world needs to just escalate and escalate and escalate. Um, Jesus Christ can make a difference in this country. Jesus Christ can make the difference in people's families, in our own uh, lives and he can heal our pain and he can set us free and he can give us a reason for living and fill our hearts uh, with living water and uh, I was reminded in John 7 7 37 that uh, no Luke 7 37 that uh, Jesus liked celebrations and one of the celebrations uh, he's recorded there in, is standing up and saying uh, anyone who's thirsty come to me and you can have living water and, uh, and so that's what we're doing here on Canada Day. We're taking this opportunity to share hope, to share that living water with Canadians. Mm -hmm. Amazing, yeah. so appreciate your heart, Shauna. I know that you share that heart, that you're seeing the kind of same things and your husband's been totally consumed for the last six months or yes, more yes. doing this. <laughs> and well, tell me about what's, what's driving you as, as you're kind of like been so busy, both of you with this and, and why do you think it's important? Well, I echo some of Jason's words in that uh, it's amazing having walked through the death of our sons, how it has um, sensitized us to something that we probably were a little bit uh, ignorant of or just maybe not as mindful of as how many people are struggling with hurts and pains. And we have certainly talked with many people and as Jason said, uh, they let the curtain down and you realize that people struggle with so many things. Uh, divorce, relationship problems, health problems, uh, many people are bereaved, they've walked through that. And uh, so it's broadened uh, the lens through which you look at people. And uh, the gospel is our source of hope and uh, it's wonderful to share it with Calgarians and across Canada. And uh, I know for Jason and I personally, our hope is and our assurance is that our boys are in heaven and that has held us through a very dark valley and we want to share that. Hmm. I, I just want to interject for a second. I, I, I love that about you and I, I see the pain. It's only been a year, just a little over a year. Mm -hmm. Just really quickly, because we're a ministry about prayer. What can people watching this right now, what can they pray for you guys about? I would say the prayer is just very appreciated for whenever we come to mind because uh, a loss of this magnitude is something that will be a lifelong uh, journey for sure and it's not something that you just kind of brush yourself off and get past. Um, we walk through our home and see two empty bedrooms every day and so there is an ongoing um, heartache but uh, the prayers have meant so much and God is carrying us, he's answering those prayers but yeah anytime 
were brought to people's minds, please pray, please pray, and uh, just know that he, he is carrying us, and we're grateful for that. Yeah, oh. we will. We will. Awesome. Wonderful. Shauna, Jason, thank you so much for taking the time to share with us. Really appreciate it. Lots of exciting things happening here during this day. Appreciate it. God bless you folks.